Good morning. I'm uh, Dr. Carrier from uh, McGill University. I'm a urologist, associate professor. I think there's no contest. Um, erectile dysfunction is really a marker of cardiovascular disease, and we both agree uh, on that topic. If you take the risk factor for cardiovascular disease, I could just switch to erectile dysfunction. It's the same risk factor. And research now have shown that uh, erectile dysfunction is actually also a risk factor for cardiovascular disease. I would say the best study that represents the natural history of patients with erectile dysfunction is the PCP trial by Thompson, who actually show that uh, patients who initially didn't have erectile dysfunctions, once they develop it, 11% uh, developed cardiovascular event five years later. To me, it's a, a window of opportunity. If you take all the patient, 100% of erectile dysfunction patient, and you do a stress test, the cost on healthcare will be uh, disastrous, where you have only 11% at five years. But it gives you time to talk to your patient and see if you can change some lifestyle, especially obesity, smoking, alcohol, and try to better control their uh, diabetes. And I think in this regard, um, I see the measurement of lipids or glucose not as a screening tool, but really as a diagnostic tool. Because they actually induce, uh, on the long term, if your diabetes or lipids is not well controlled, uh, that will induce erectile dysfunction. And later on, probably in about 40%, uh, some cardiovascular event. There's no doubt that uh, for urologists, it's an opportunity when you see a patient with erectile dysfunction to be a men's health advocate, to actually take the lead and make them change their bad behavior. Um, and obviously, in most of your patients, you don't need to do uh, a stress test to assess them. If you have a patient who had heart disease, then you go with the Princeton guidelines, which says that patient who had a heart uh, disease condition, if they're at high risk or intermediate risk, they need to be reassessed by their cardiologist. Otherwise, it's very safe to start the treatment, but by also uh, making sure that patient will uh, try to change their lifestyle so eventually they won't develop uh, cardiovascular disease.